I have a question. As a state of black people, who do y'all blame the failure of our generation on? Is it on ourselves? Are we blaming the generation before us? Are we blaming the generation before them? Are we blaming the white man? Are we still claiming oppression? Like, who is at fault for the state of being as us as a whole, as a people right now? Who wanna go first? I, ain't gonna... I don't know. I, I feel like we at fault because we 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 the ones who not waking up. You know what I'm saying? We not waking up from what we need to wake up from. You know what I'm saying? All of this mm. shit that's put in our face and shit. We believe in it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we was brought up on. But then when we get this other shit, motherfuckers like like bro said, motherfuckers wanna oh y'all demonic and all of this extra shit. Y'all no, we woke. Y'all still sleep. And you then know what that's saying? that's the thing with me too. I don't even like to call it a sleep state or woke. It's phases and stages of life. You get what I'm saying? And it's See, like because... Sure. When we go, what I done went through, what y'all going through, that's to get to the next level. Yeah. But if it's stages level. of life, stages Let of life... Let me say this, though. Let me say this. I, I wanted to say I don't, I don't want to look at it as woke and nothing like that because it's, 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 it's an insult. And it was really a weaponry word that was created to make you feel like, you know... You, you really it give you a, a super. I always say it's like a superhero look, like you get what I'm saying. Oh, you woke. Put your cape on. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying. Like I, I, I never really respected it. So I like to say, have knowledge of. You yeah. get what I'm saying okay, because that's we what go. we lack. We lack the knowledge, and right. lacking the knowledge will cause you to fall the fir- fall into the corruption of it. You get what I'm saying. When you don't have knowledge of something, it's easy to be manipulated. It's easy to get, you know, yeah. It can, it be, so whose job is it to pass down this knowledge, to give this knowledge? Exactly. When you got a, when you, you, you got a group of youth feeling banded, feel misled, feel misguided by the elder generation. You got the elder generation see, looking at the see, youth as if they're, the they they're they hard-headed, you. unreachable, unteachable, right. undisciplined. You know what I'm saying? So how the knowledge is going to get passed? You got the older generation looking down at the youth, the younger generation, the younger generation looking down on the older generation. generation man. And then in the process of that, everybody looking at each other as enemies, as, 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 as opponents. Nobody's looking at the next brother as a brother. Nobody's looking at the next sister as a sister. Like, so see, how do you get see, past that? See, but you know all this, right? You have to get past it yourself. Mm-hmm. You see, because what you're speaking on, yeah, well, they doing this, they doing that. Well, you see this and you know that, do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And if you ask me... You can't blame nobody, because, you know, if you can see what's going on, then, like they say, you should know better. Exactly. But how many of them do you think really see what's going on? I want to get back to the original, because I don't want to get off topic. Now, your question was, who Mm -hmm. is the problem? Where did it start? You know, who is the... And if you ask me, because I just was asked this question a couple days ago, actually. I don't know who asked me, but it was literally the same question. Hello? I think that was two times. No, it was somebody, but it, anyway, it don't even matter who it is. What was your the point, answer? The point that I'm making, yeah, exactly. I feel like it's us. And the reason I say us is because, okay, we were all sitting here with a mission, a purpose. Now, whether that purpose is for the bad or for the good, it is a purpose. It doesn't matter. So you got to think, if it was good placed here, it was bad placed here. Mm-hmm. Who's to tell, Who's to say that the bad ain't doing their job either, whether you're looking at it wrong or not? Because in reality, there is no good. There is no bad. These are things that were weaponized. You have to remember. <laughs> so it is no good or bad. It's only purpose. Like it's it's it only mission. It you get what I'm saying? It is like, what it is. There's many different walks of life. So, you know, the you, thing, well, you, you going to have... Like the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm-hmm. See, so the route that you take, the next person takes a different route. Right. Okay? Then this person go on this route. It, get, it can get better and get worse. I'm, I'm in agreement with a certain team. Listen, but I ain't finished proving my point, though. This is why I say. Because the thing is, you are in control of your, what I call, universe. You control your universe. If I told this, if I tell a, a man to go steal something for me at the store, regardless of what casualties he might face behind stealing that, it was up for him to decide that in his universe that he was gonna go steal that for me. So that came back to him asking his asking himself something first: Is this worth doing it, 
what I'm getting out of this? Well, these are all questions he got to ask himself because I, it don't matter what happened to you. Or, don't put me in nothing. You ain't have to go do this. Don't bring my name up, don't nothing. You get what I'm saying? So my thing is, basically I'm saying that to say, the decision still comes back to us. Whether we stay in this indoctrination, whether we move from it, grow from it, and even when, even though it was placed on us by them, like I just said earlier, it was still their mission. Whether it's bad or good, we know that it's not real. That it's bad or good don't exist. It was it their is, mission to conquer and destroy. You get what I'm saying? This They doing what they supposed to do. So you can't come and say, okay, well, yeah, it's the white man's fault. Well, it's only so long you can sit and blame him. But you can't blame him for something that his, his ancestors sent him to do in the first place. Well, you got to think. You, 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 you following your ancestors. You, you, you praising them. You think they're not praising theirs? I, I'm, I'm in agreement, so but this is where I'm in a disagreement. I'm in agreement that this is right. We are all held accountable for our actions, for our thoughts that we make. At some point, like you said, I'm agreeing that yeah. you have to start knowing that if a motherfucker tell you to do something, if it's not in the benefit of you, your family, or or just anything, like you have to be accountable. But I'm also going to say it's them too. It's because, and when I say them, I'm, I'm not meaning the ones that they say oppressors. I'm speaking on ancestors. I'm speaking on the forefathers, the predecessors, the ones mm -hmm. before us. And the reason right. why I say this is because when you have a child as a parent, it's your obligation, it's your duty, your responsibility to give your child the tools that it needs to succeed in life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you don't give your child that, you know what I'm saying? How is your child to ever learn right from wrong? How is your child ever to learn the knowledge that if a motherfucker tells him to do something that's detrimental to them or that's not beneficial to them, that that's wrong if they never had them teachings? If I had, at, at, like me growing up, I had my uncle telling me not to sell drugs, not to game bang, not to do all this, but... I watched this motherfucker do all of that shit. You didn't give me the tools to succeed. All you did was tell me not to do some shit, then I turned around and watched you do all the same exact shit. Right. But see, I'm going to bounce off what you said because you got to think. Now, you said they was brought up and raised this and that way. Exactly. You have to remember that even they were in the... You have to understand that even when they were going through this, they were indoctrinated. The further you go back, the more the indoctrination. Look at the times we in now. Look at the civilization that you are seeing now. Look at the youth. Yeah, but my, but the, the thing, but different between them and our thing is when they were when they give us getting indoctrinated, them white people they passed the teachers on down to the younger. That's how they was able to continue to oppress us though? for generations. You just say though, us blacks. No, you said whites. Yeah, the, exactly. So overstand, this is your oppressor. That has been here all this time. That's the difference. So as as my processor and failing to give me knowledge, does that not make no. you somewhat as an oppressor as well? Hold on, no. what the, what you got? What what words you just said? I said Yo, the oppressor. Yes. Okay. What did you say? Can we not be our own oppressors? We are our own oppressors too. We are to this day, because I can look at you and see you got something good no. going on, and I'm just so bored in my blood because I ain't got it. And now I'm looking at you in a way because you got it. You done went out and made a way that I could have go, go went and did for my The same thing I could have went and did for me. You went and did it for yourself, though. And I'm mad because you got it. You went and did it. And I didn't. So we are oppressors to ourselves. But the number one oppressor is the person who fools you without you knowing you being fooled. That's the thing. If I come and, 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 and show you this beautiful flat screen TV... You liking it. You like the quality of it. You like the color of everything. It looks so good to you. And I tell you, just give me a hundred for it. You like for this? You seeing the quality and everything. You like, man, no way. What, what you do with this? How you 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 got questions now? But you want it. You buy it, right? That's what I did though. You didn't know. I lowered my price. I lowered my possible uh profit or whatever. Just to find a way in your house. That's deep. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it cost me a little bit of nothing. But shit, nigga, now I got the whole access to your whole house. Oh, what's going on in this motherfucker now? Yeah, but... If you you see what I'm saying? If you look at the big picture... So what I'm saying? No, no, because we talking about... Go ahead. You got to know what we talking about right now, G. We talking about the oppressor. 
and, and, and where it started at. But the thing is, this is his job. So you still can't be mad at them. You can't feel no way about them. They were they were created to do this. They weren't created for your good. But see, this this also goes back into the real truth of the land. You get what I'm saying? You have to know all this shit in order to even understand half of the shit I'm talking about. Ain't no question. You get what I'm saying? Ain't no question. So, yeah, start with your family. But goddamn it, it started with the motherfuckers who corrupted them. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. The motherfuckers I gave them them fake-ass names. You got... Your name is a motherfucker white boy okay, name. Which exactly. White so man which goes, you got a slave so, on her name. So which goes right. back to my thing, which why I say you just had our fucking real which, which goes I gotta, back I know to, I got a slave on her name. Talking, on that which which name. goes back to why I say our people and our ancestors because we had people that went out and seek the real knowledge that discover who we are, our true identities, our true way of living, our whole cultures. You had some that gave their lives trying to reveal that information. And then you had the vast majority get scared, scur up, and disappear. The fact of the matter is, we don't have enough leaders that's willing to go out there no more. Exactly. And put themselves out there no more. And expose the truth. You know why, though? So, so, so it's like, how do you expect you know why a race, know? a generation of people, like you said, yeah, ignorant, listen. that don't know, that like the knowledge, who ain't never got the knowledge. There's only a few people that got the real knowledge, yeah. but they scared to get out there because exactly. motherfuckers you know getting... Why? You just said the key They scared to get out there. Fear. Fear stops a lot of things. Fear, guess what fear do? Yeah. Fear of how you getting out the streets. Fear of how you getting out the streets, and guess where you go? Right to the church. Hey, grab that phone. Cause you're scared you now. You are really scared of that old life you was living. You really you, you worried about if it's gonna come back to hunt your ass now, cause you you moving on a different path now. You know what I mean? We had them moments, bro. We we I wanted to see what they say. We human. We ain't human, but listen, it's normal. I'ma say. I don't know, man. I just feel like as as, as, as a group of people, we gotta start being more innovative, man. And and when, when we start with anybody. Forget the forget the old stubborn senile ones that stuck in their ways. Like, I feel like you, you reach the youth. You start with the youth, and you start in home. You start in home with with your family, with your household, and then with the youth. Exactly. A lot, a lot of people, people, you gotta get out here, man. If, if 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 fear is gonna be the reason why motherfuckers don't get out there, then we might as well just give up. We might as well yeah. we might as well stop all these fights, stop these programs, stop hollering this black activist shit, this black lives matter, white right. lives matter, whatever the fuck it is that Which people really ain't we might as well anyway. we might as well stop all that shit. Black if motherfuckers gonna to. use let fear stop motherfuckers from getting out there and really passing down knowledge and, and just the understanding of who we are and where we at and just the true identity of one still we might as well just. It's just so crazy, like, how people just so quick to just break up. Like, people that have been together for six, seven years, and they just wake up one day and be like, you know what? I don't want this no more. It's not that crazy to me. I want this now. Hey, you know what, Ain't though? nothing crazy no more. No, because because everything is happening that's this deep, year. though, because I ain't gonna lie, though. You know why that's really happening, though. Why do you think? I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm me personally, and I'm not just saying it, but we gotta just really because I've been I feel watching like it's a lot. system. No, I'm talking about. See me. I'm an accountability person. I don't blame nothing outside of me. You feel what I'm saying for nothing because I can go change this. You call me to take everything that you do. You feel what I'm saying? I can go change this. That's why when he asked me that earlier, I said no. It's us because you can go change anything that has been done to you or is happening to you can be reversed but if, but you have to understand what happened to you in order to change if you don't understand I what I don't feel like you got to understand it I feel like you have to come accept it I feel like you have to accept it why you, because why do you don't feel like it's a lot of shit you're not going to never understand Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no question, but it's it, but it's a it's the vast majority of a lot of things that you do at what you say but people don't accept it a lot of people don't want to accept things. That's why I just said what I just said. Like, to exactly. speak on your thing, the reason why a lot of relationships fail, people feel like, I'm going to be honest with you, where I don't think it's happened, a lot of that shit be built off the false pretense anyway. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So when you when when you when like, you got a it, household it that was built off false pretense, let's look what, what happened with Rob Kardashian. He didn't feel for this, this this girl, Black China, and the whole time all she looked at him was a, was a, was a bad, was a, was an right. opportunity to get some money. 
You know what I'm saying? Look how many females dating niggas that's beating on them, taking, putting them in financial debt, but just because they want to feel love, they got low self-esteem, they mm-hmm. deal with that. Mm-hmm. And then that's all I'm going to get at. I feel as though the woman, because you got to think, man, the woman is the most manipulated, whether we know it or not. Like, <laughs> Yo, see, go back to Adam and Eve. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The woman is easier. The men, you know, we stand firm. You get what I'm saying? Ain't no, what? Nigga, it is what we say it is. We, we the foundation. Nigga, we the empire. That's how we looking at it. The woman, she can be tricked. And then the easiest way to trick her is to get the man from around her. Yeah. Now you got open access to her. You can feed her wherever. Because guess what? We going to fund you. And that's all that matter. And what y'all saying is. Because he not funding you. as a people. <laughs> huh? But we got, cause, but we got, in order for these relationships to work, man, for one, a lot of us got to start being real men, for one. But you got to be real women. The women got to start woman. being real women. You can't just be you a real man. You can't just be a real man. No, not, no, no, I'm not no, saying that. Saying, I'm not though. saying that. What, I, what I'm saying is, far, far as, I'm, I'm speaking on a male perspective. For one, we got to start, a lot of us got to start being real men, real fathers. These yeah. women, too, yeah. got to start being real women, real mothers. But at the same time, we all, we got to start. Standing for shit. Because I look at it like this. A lot of niggas, think about it. How many niggas we know really all are living off a of female? Man. They ain't standing for shit. The, that's crazy. I was they don't stand for that. shit. I was just going to say, I look at so it like this. So the female feel like she could do what she want to do, move how she want to move, especially and when she's real. They didn't yeah, say what? They, 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 they saying like, it, they throwing it in your face. Like, I love yeah. you. I can yeah. take care yeah. of I can yeah. do what I want to do. That's like a thousand posts like that right now. You know, this shit real. But that's because, nigga, you ain't standing on nothing. But it is, it ain't even that, bro. See, that's why I got, I can't accept the accountability, but no, but no too, though. That is not that man not standing on nothing. That oh, man bro. ain't standing on shit because he dealing with a motherfucker he can't control. Exactly. That's the thing. And the reason why he can't control her is because she's being controlled. That's the difference. Right. That too. What they used to call him. What you saw But when, as a man, you still ain't standing on because of the reason, call when, the reason why when I say that. Checks out, when he dropped them checks what they call them, Daddy Trump? What, what was they called them? Yeah, Daddy Trump. Stimulus. Stimulus. Yeah. But, but just think about it, though. Uh, if way. you stand for something. Well, what's that, the uh, <laughs> other one? Who the other one was? Uh, uh, Obama. Who? No, they was calling somebody Daddy. I think it was Trump, though. It probably that was, was Daddy Trump. Trump. What would he have all called him Daddy Trump. Trump. Well, why do you think so? Passing that bread. He was taking... Nigga, he's funding. He put these in the house, nigga. He... You but, see but what I'm saying? And she glorified him. When you stand for something, it's like this, right? As a man, you you are your man. You have your morals, you have your principles, you have the things that you believe in. Mm-hmm. The female that you're dating, she have to be in line. She have to be in line with your beliefs, with your morals, your principles. Right. You're not going to allow her to act outside herself because she's a reflection of you. Exactly. You carry yourself like exactly. a god, as a king, and as a man. Mm-hmm. So you hold your women to certain standards. Yes. If that the minute that good woman act like that, she going to be but anything lower than what you that. you yeah. going to remove yourself. <laughs> exactly. And that's the problem. Because niggas, niggas ain't standing for nothing. Yeah. Niggas ain't removed. You don't have to stand there and deal with that from that girl. I don't give a fuck how pretty, bad, curvy, or none of that that you think you is. Exactly. You don't have to stand there and, and tolerate that. Mm-hmm. But because you don't, she get worse. She get worse. She fade yeah. by the line. If we not saying nothing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We watching our daughters come up to be video vicious. We not teaching them to think what they mind, lead what they mind, and not their bodies. So when they come out, and they wondering why niggas looking at them as nothing but sex too. We help pushing that too. Man, we got them in the rappers man. got them in their videos. The basketball players got them as, as cheerleaders and, 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 and NBA girl teams and whatever the fuck you want to call them. They in and movies. That's me, all that. That's what they that's, in models. That's all that did. Look, really look at the cheerleading drill team. All this shit didn't do nothing but prep them. For video all the videos. social media sites yeah. that it we use, them for video it, exactly. All the social media sites we use what to turn into to pornification. What did they get out of life of drill Facebook? Team? Huh, shit. What did you get out of life of cheerleading? Exactly. Where did where where what career is based off cheerleading and drill team? You gotta ask yourself this. Nothing. You don't got no careers that come with that. So what is this for? It got to be a it got to be an agenda behind it because it's not just gonna be there. Look what they rapping in their songs. They telling them don't cook. You ain't gotta pay bills. Yep. The nigga ain't doing this, 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 this. Like all mo- all morals and virtues have gone out the window. So when I see females He's talking about all men don't want to be husbands no more, y'all don't want to be wives no more. Mm-hmm. You promote sex. 
90 percent of the day but you want to be treated like a queen we had talked about this in a, uh in an interview before when i was talking about chasing how, niggas out here living, limits, living wrong all the way around if, even if you is even if you sh- sh- like move like a woman you still standing too close to the hoes we don't even yeah. know we don't know how to you know what i'm saying point you out because you're doing the same, same shit thing. they doing you twerking you listening uh-huh. to all the same songs, all of that shit. So how can we point the hoes and the women out? You know what I'm saying? And be like, oh, that's a woman. Apart. We can't tell y'all apart because y'all are doing the same shit. Listen, that any relationship literally. ain't built on understanding, love, respect. Like if y'all ain't got, if y'all don't even share common goals, y'all shouldn't even be together. Uh-huh. How a relationship going work when y'all want two different things out of life? Literally. How did that? If y'all on two different paths out of life, if you if you a woman and you going to school trying to gain degrees and this nigga a drug dealer, running a block robbing niggas, how the fuck do you think y'all relationship was gonna oh, survive? Or what what future think y'all think y'all have? Always got y'all living life. two different lives. Literally, that's not finna work. That's toxic. Make that you action for toxic. Like make that make sense to action me. Action for toxic. That's all you can get out you of that. You building credit, folks destroying credit. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> <The fuck? laughs> like, like, that shit doesn't, <laughs> you make, make, it that make, shit doesn't sense. make sense. You acquired degree, folks ain't got none. You ain't even chasing none. <laughs> on, the fuck you talking about? But the penitentiary degrees. That's what food chasing. Oh, my life. But y'all talking about some y'all try to, try to, how? Y'all ain't even living the light. And then, the, you know, because if you know what I said, I said, bro, because I had a little podcast I didn't know what I was talking about. The uh, the fathers being in the homes, how much of a difference it makes, bro. When I tell you, literally, my dad being at the house, me just knowing, I, and this nigga ain't even there like that. Right, but, but he live here. You know what's so crazy, huh. though? A I just of, felt his presence just because he stayed here. And nigga, I wasn't finna nigga that can come to school. Structure but you, but you know what's so crazy? That's they, so real because... When you yeah. think about a lot of life, like when I, I grew up, right? You know, I grew up in the hood. And when I think about all the guys... I can honestly say I remember us being at least 30 to 40 deep. And I could honestly tell you, I could count on my two hands how many of us had father figures in our Man. lives. And I could tell you how all our lives ended up versus the few ones that, that did have their fathers. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you the ones that had positive uncles, granddaddies, or something like that, how their lives turned out versus all the ones who well, our uncles and big brothers and shit was in the field just like us. And I can tell you how all our lives planned out. Every last one of us. Been through jail, shot. Had most of us dead. No bullshit. Like most of the niggas I grew up dead. We didn't. We didn't grow up. No fathers. No uncles. No positive father. All our uncles, big brothers, and was in the streets. And all of us went through life the wrong way. A lot of us didn't. Hey, let me. Yeah, because I want to ask you that. Because see, with you being from Chicago and having that upcoming, that's a different type of. You know what I mean? So. How is that there though compared to like was the structure there? I mean, obviously the youth is wild as hell, so I'm not asking on that thing. Certain, but was the cer- fathers at trying a, to? At a, at a certain point in time, it was it was a sense of structure. Like like when I grew up, game banger, like it was a point in time they made us go to school. Like, fool, you, you couldn't hustle doing school out. Motherfucker caught you on the block trying to sell some drugs doing school out. Boy, food name was coming to holler. Food oh, y'all was, both from Chicago. Food right? name, Stop food name was coming to holler at you. You Like, you had to go to school. Yeah. Boy, we was walking down the street. Old lady asked you to pull your pants up. You act like you ain't hit a boy. Fool name hit you in your shit. Yeah. Disrespecting that crazy, old lady dang. like that. It was, like, it's different out like, there, bro. They don't play with disrespect. We didn't, we didn't, you can't, we didn't, you you can't go down do, the street and disrespect nigga mama like you disrespect a nigga mama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, nah, hell no. Fool name, boy, my fuck. We didn't move like that. <laughs> down south, it got a down south vibe because it's southern hospitality. And nigga, your auntie, nigga, a nigga auntie that know you, nigga that know your mama could beat your ass just like how Hell your yeah, mama can. Hell yeah, but what? I, I, I grew up getting ass whooped from some of all the elders on the block, and they all knew me. They all helped grade me up. They knew my mama, my grandma, my auntie. Like my mama, when she came to school, the whole school knew me from the janitors and everything. Yeah. Like she sticks upside they shit. These people, kids, man, people entrusted their kids to y'all to go march with y'all. People entrusted their sons, their daughters, their mothers, their fathers to go walking with y'all, bro. And you let their ass down the enemy pit to be beaten to crucified. Oh, my soul. Literally. Come on, bro. And then these the same church. And that's why I tell people. These same churches, these same scriptures, all you hear is was formed by them. Another thing. Your ancestors ran to these same churches thinking Jesus was finna save them, and they got killed in the churches. Mm-hmm. The kids got killed in the church. 
Same you know, churches, bro. This is true information. They bombed. They was bombing these churches, snatching kids off their homes. For do you know how many black little girls now ended up being raped this. down south? If Jesus so called looked like them, why would they be doing that? Why would they do that to their ancient, so called their ancient history? Nigga, oh, Jesus. And, 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 and this is what kid with Martin Luther King said. The man got up on that podium in front of all them people. And he said he had a dream. A dream that was... We know what the dream is. A, a dream that was false. A dream that you gave... That you got from a slave religion that they gave your, to your people. Yeah, and that he... Yeah, and that he finally, at the end of his role, want to come back and then tell you, okay, look, this was happening. That's why he took him out. In my eyes, nigga, you didn't wait for us. He came no, and yeah. back and reneged at the last minute. minute. Yeah, that's, that's my thing I said. Because the nigga, for yeah. so long, nigga, you worked for them. You exactly. wasn't helping us. Yes. You was helping, you and was, you was making them it more easier for them to control us. Malcolm Don't Max turn up and out. fight them people. Yeah. Turn on mm. the cheek. Making Malcolm it easier for them to put their hold on us. And a couple more out. He called Malcolm called them out. Yeah. He said, that's why he made that one little interview where you hear him saying, I'm a man that believed I died uh, hundreds of years ago. Fear is, I don't fear. I don't have any fear in me. That's why Malcolm, Malcolm was really that, what? Malcolm is the real Martin, nigga. Oh, did you hear Martin say? couldn't ever, he was that nigga. on my soul. Okay. Do you hear me? See, he wasn't taking shit from the white man. Malcolm nigga, Marcus that's Garvey. That's why he had to right, come right, the way they came. Why you think they don't tell us the real true story of Marcus Garvey? Exactly. Marcus Garvey wasn't for none of that shit. Miles Garvey trying to get this money, trying to get us up out of here. He's another person. Yeah, they got him too. They got him up out of there. He taught. He was the teacher of 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 of, of Malcolm X, Clarence X, Noble Jew Ali. Like we don't learn about people like them in history. These was the guys that he, wasn't for they none don't of talk that about shit. These people. These the eighty five percent of the people that we don't hear about. These was the teachers of these, these Louis the, Farrakhan, the Black and Mal- Panther Party. Yeah, these they weren't for none so of that I'm shit. Saying? You see what they did with Black Panther, right? Mm-hmm. They went and flipped it into a movie to give you, give you a perspective on what it's really about. To, bring, to whitewash, to whitewash the true esoteric Just think about this. This, this. this is what I think about. Just think if Martin Luther King, if Malcolm X, if the, the Huey Newton, the Fred Hamptons, if all of them was able to be on the same page to be alive, look how much more accomplished that we could have been as a black people Man. if we had fought together. But we didn't fight together. Uh-huh. We didn't. We let them people turn us against, against us. each other. All that. In a matter of years. What? They did a yeah, couple. Right. They made one dude give us a religion and preach certain things. They had us looking at Malcolm X like, oh no, you, you being violent. Would that make us no better than them? And no, nah, fuck mm-hmm. that. That was the right way to go. All right. And see, the thing is, like, what us losing all these leaders is like, this shit's still happening today. The leaders, they getting took out silently. They getting, you know what I mean? They getting thrown in jail. You know what I mean? Even the rappers. Yeah, they turn us against you. Really Look at Kanye. Overstand what's really going that, that, on with these rappers right too, now. Kanye. Look at Kanye. Jail shit ain't just them going to jail, my nigga. They doing their best to destroy they Kanye. They are fighting back now, my nigga. You got to think the planet is rising. <coughs> Everything is coming back to itself. This is why you see more... People talking out now. More celebrities talking out now, exposing what's really going on. But see, the history got to repeat itself. The planet is woke. No, like the planet is alive. We and we're going to start to it's rise. The planet is alive. We, we going to rise. We going to rise. We have a platform to speak on. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> we didn't came in. We didn't came in. And you know what we did? We done moved in the office next to them. Because guess what? Everything you see now is black. Even though that's what not what we are. Don't ever, you can't ever lower us down to a color. Do you hear me? Right. So, you know, we we, we understand that that was just a title, right another line weaponized line. title that was thrown at us. You know what I'm saying? You, but you way more than... The line in today's world here in you the You Anunnaki gods, at the, if you want to be technical. <laughs> you Anunnaki gods. This is way more higher than... You are the creator of them. You are Anunnaki gods. You are the creator of them, if you want to be technical. Part of the lost tribe, my guys. You see what I'm saying? So, but this is the information that they don't want you to know. Because if me and you was to just sit down like how we sitting right now, and then we can get the, his cousin to come, and they cousins, and his brother, his sister, his auntie, and they uncles, and come together once all of them level. start coming together and have this thought, guess what? Now they worry about what we finna do. They worry about if we finna come back for them how they did us. Right. And we ain't even, we ain't even that type of people. We not even. Do you hear that? We ain't even that ain't talking people. though. They ain't even talking. These angry young 
black men. Nigga, if you want to be real, there's no new souls here. Nope. From like the well, early 70s. The kids just on back. back. All of early them. 70s on back. <clears throat> it's nothing but old souls coming back now. Literally. In these vessels that you call history babies. Because has to repeat itself. See, because you got to know that babies, it, 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 listen, what that woman, what that goddess has between her legs is way more powerful than <laughs> pussy or whatever you want to call it. Nigga, it's, it got way more much power to it. It's, it's, it's a whole portal. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you have something that, that powerful, what does that tell you about the woman? Who is she? Who is this black woman? We ain't talking about who is this woman because everybody don't have what she have. Everybody don't have. And, and, and that's what, she, you can't what bring no, every woman ain't got no soul coming out of them. They got a vessel with a spirit yeah. coming out of them, but not a soul because souls are tied to us. Souls is the afterlife. Soul is, 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 is it, try, it, try, it go here, it go there. It travels, it keep going. It don't stop. When it leaves this vessel, it's still going. Oh, you're like Therefore, that take it's death away. Death, that way, that was that cast was out death right there. Because if I die, nothing should just be happening. Like I'm gone, nothing. But I shouldn't be going into. I shouldn't be going into another realm, and it feels just like I'm in this one still. But it's just a different look now. You seeing stuff for you seeing stuff. The man, it looked th it, it looked like a world a nigga created, like to have fun at. Like if, I don't even know how to explain it. But you can go to these places. I've been there. I've left this vessel and went there. You get what I'm saying? But this is why I say prayer has to leave the homes. Yes. Because you say you have to leave the homes. Leave. If you overstood. The true meaning of prayer, what it does, what it blocks out from you, your true power, who you are. Falsify? No. I mean, that's probably what happened to you. It got falsified to you. But if you knew what prayer really meant, you wouldn't do it. If you had, if you really go diving in the, re, in the, the, the real history or whatever you want to call it, it's ancient. It's there. You can go look into these things. It, it, it's the, the information is out there. But if I if I told you, when you pray, you get on your knees, you cover your you covering energy centers. These are energy centers that connected to you. This is what your ancestors used. This is all. This is what made us peaceful. We was we was peaceful. We we worshipped self. We didn't worship nothing outside of us. You can go back into the beginning of the time and it show you that. Jesus wasn't nowhere around. How is that so if he's the creator? This is in ancient history. Like, you can go look into these in books and everything. They even got documentaries about it. It's that real. So it's like, when all this stuff is kept from you, it causes this, which is called the demise. Get what I'm saying? It's it's a slow indoctrination. It's like, it's like, it's like walking you to your own death. That's scary. You get what I'm saying? But not everybody though. Just you, just you and your people. Everything here is weaponized for you and your people. Only though, only y'all. Everybody else, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make y'all middle class. Gonna make y'all upper class, okay? We're gonna put a little bit of ours in there too, cause they 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 act too country and hillbillyish and, and ghetto. We we can't let that represent us. So you know what? We're gonna throw them down there with the black people. We're gonna put them in trailer parks right there. You get what I'm saying? We're gonna make them look like they, you know, they still think they can do something because they look like us. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give them that little bit of leverage because they do look like us. They don't sh sh share the superiority. You get what I'm saying? We still make them. We we'll still separate them. Put them over here by themselves. Rednecks. That now look no different than us. You feel what I'm saying? But you are your own kind. You get just separated from all of them. From the Asians, Mexicans, 
Latinos, and not even not even knowing the Latinos is your people. They with y'all too. I met a who, who, we yeah, what, we, we met, met a somebody, Puerto Rican, yes, Latino. But what I'm saying is, it ain't about what you in. It ain't about why you got this vessel, why you none of that, the body, whatever you want to call it. It ain't about none of that. It's really about what you doing with. It. Why? What? What's the reasoning behind all this? Why? Then, and then, I don't want to say why nothing. I ain't even put nothing behind. That's why I just said why. What is it? Really though? And what why is, is the why? And you know what that why stands for? That why stands for figuring this out, applying it once you figure it out because it's there. The why is there. The answers to every why has the answer. But you got to go figure it out. But you can't figure out how all Yes, you can. Yes, you can. See, that's the thing. You are limiting yourself right there just by telling yourself you can't. I don't say that word. Because you got to know even with that, it's English language. It's not ours. It don't belong to us. This, is what's, this, this language was taught to you in school. K5, K1 on up, whatever. You was taught the English language. You didn't know any of that until you went to school. So if you are being pushed away from not even your language, what does that even tell you? You are about to get equipped for an agenda over here. You are being stripped away from everything to go be assigned somewhere over here for some reason. For some false reason. So it's no reason... To ask yourself, why the blood, why the body here, why the vessel here? The biggest thing need to be on your mind is why, but not just to that. Why everything? Exactly what? Don't what focus it? on just why this and why that. Find out why, because it's there, and that might not even come to you. Is it? I might listen. I just gave you the answer. But whether you understand it or not, it don't, it ain't got nothing to do with me. I just gave you the answer. But you can figure it out because I figured it out. Listen, what I was saying earlier, take away, we need to get this prayer up out of here. Meditate. You should be in your homes with your families meditating every day. And as messed up it is out here right now, we should be at an all-time high doing it. Because when you pray, you are blocking all of your energy centers. Meditation connects you to those energy centers. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this here? This is natural, though. This is nature. What you think our ancestors did? They were in nature, meditating. Hoodoo, voodoo, you heard of that? Not, not the they told you hoodoo. Not listening to the Not listening to no word. They praised themselves. Right. They didn't praise right. nothing outside of them. The spirit in the soul or the mind. In the spirit meaning not religion. It's hey. called spirit. It's called spirit. It's why you hear people saying that's spiritual. You hear them say, spirit told me. That's why they say that. They don't say, oh, the spirit, because that's outside of you. When you say spirit, it's within. Spirit is giving me, spirit is showing me. When you see people doing readings, spirit, that's within. That's nothing but breath. This is what this connected to. It's no different than seeing the peace wound, symbol for the woman. It's a representation. It's symbolized. It's encrypted in us, inside of the soul, literally. You can connect to these things, but you have to go see why. Remember I said why? Connect to them in meditation, not word of mouth. Go go find out everything why. That's when, when you hear me say why, go find out everything why. Ask why this, why that, why this. I don't care how many people you're gonna get people that's gonna get mad with you. You're gonna get in wars, you're gonna have debates, you're gonna go back and forth with people, right. everything. Different. All that shit gonna happen. Listen. But keep asking why. That's what I do. Well, that's what I did. But then I found out why. To learn why is to learn life. You feel me? On my life. That part. <coughs> people be looking at shit like. 
Dude, dude, dude ain't shit, man. He's, man, you got to know that, bro. I be telling niggas, bro, <laughs> these ain't even niggas, bro. These ain't even who you think they is, bro. You know, you know. When I tell you, bro, they call them ghosts. That is not a such thing. Ain't no such thing. I keep telling people all this shit is English language. So know that anything you were told, my nigga, is lies, my nigga. It's truth in there. They got to give you the truth. But it's more lies than truth. It's only a piece of the truth. Give you a piece but of it's the still truth. Lies because it's, of lies. it's lies in the truth. Once you decipher it, I be I still I tell my girl to this day like, cause I see cause listen she she's still trapped in the world that I came from. I'm not on that realm no more. I'm in a whole other dimension. You feel me? So when you in another dimension that you done, you just surpass these dimensions down here. You on different frequencies. You get what I'm saying? But somebody you love and care for is still Your down there. Your vibration is moving different. Somebody you love and care for is still down there though. You see what I'm saying? This could be mamas. But this is how I feel. My mama, my brother. They still down there. So you damn, you damn near up here like you ain't supposed to be going backwards though. Because you got to think. People that you think your family here not. We look at people and be like, oh, I was birthed for my mama. That's my mama right there. That's my sister. That's my... First off, you were a family to something or someone, whatever you want to call it, before you got here. So what do they really tell you? Family don't even exist. It's just a connection. That's it. It's an energy. It's an energy cycle. You don't see no motherfucking time. You don't see niggas at that work for the goddamn cable company telling you, oh, I gotta go hook up the um wires out here to his cousin right here to um to get the cable running in your house. I gotta go over here to this power line over here and then this power line, it's the brother of the um it's the sister of the um power line over here over. You don't see that, nigga, that's energy, nigga, that's what we is. That's the same thing we is. That's energy, bro. But you don't see them labeling it brother and sister. You is, nigga, you as much as that energy on that power line, nigga, that's, that's what you is. You literally at. Where you think energy come from? Niggas never question that. It's all energy with them. See what I'm saying? You think the planet right now, you think your light's on, most people think their light's on in their house right now. Because of a motherfucking stationary power line set up in, in the neighborhood somewhere. Where do you think that energy gets its energy from? Okay. You have to question this shit. Right, where that energy come from? Where you your energy? You know where it's coming from? The planet, nigga. Because you are the planet. The same well, thing that shit energy. have, you the have. Energy. Nigga, you the sun. Only reason why it's like, because you see like that. You the, the sun, energy. nigga. You got six electrons in you, six protons, six neutrons. Nigga, the sun got the same shit, nigga. Nigga, I stare at the sun. I ain't ever did the sun gaze, bro. I ain't ever stare at the sun eye to eye, nigga. Notice I said eye to eye, nigga. Because not these. It's this one. It's connected to the sun. I stared at, I stared at the sun, nigga. You know, it blinds you, right? Mm -hmm. They say it blinds you. That's what they it was hurting the fuck out my kids. eyes. But nigga, I kept doing it. Tears coming out, all that. But after a while of me doing it, it didn't hurt, it no, didn't more. hurt no more. It didn't, didn't, none of that happened. It was normal. Nigga, I was able to just look at it. But guess how it looked, bro? Like a big ass ball of light. And it was moving. It wasn't in one spot. It was just, right. it was like a shaky feeling. Mm -hmm. Literally. Like, but I can see it. And I seen this true color, bro. And it was not orange, yellowish, whatever the fuck you want to call it, nigga. It was dark. Y'all. It was is. dark like y'all, my nigga. It looked like our color, nigga. So what that tell you, bro? Why you think when the summertime come, nigga, you more rage, nigga? You more mo, you motherfucker ready to get out here. That's that energy. That energy, nigga. No, I That's know. That's the sun charging you. You are connected to the sun. Each anytime heat is around this bitch, you gonna feel powerful. Long as you got this, you carbonated, because this ain't melanin. That's another thing we was lied to about. They have melanin. We are neuromelanin. It's a big difference. It can take sun rays. Melanin can't. Sun rays come from where? The sun. Why you think you can take it, though? 
Mm -hmm. What I just tell you, you connected to the sun. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, it's like we got so much energy when the summertime comes, but we act out with that energy the wrong way towards each other. Using it for because they are harvesting the energy, they have a negative impact on the planet right now. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna come out that way instead of a positive. Because all that energy is like right here, one, one, one place, one circle. Nigga, if I told you, hmm, if I told you that this, if, if the sun gets to a thousand degrees, that you can take it, you probably wouldn't even believe. It. probably wouldn't even believe me if I told you that. That shit sound crazy, don't it? Nope. But we ain't gonna say a thousand. We're gonna say the exact temperature. 999 degrees. Just round it out to a thousand. Don't sound crazy to me. But guess why? You heard what you heard the numbers I said? 999? How many what I told you you had inside of you? Six electrons, mm -hmm. six, six protons, protons, six neutrons. Nine hundred and ninety-nine upside down is what? Six, 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 six. six. Oh, bro. You can take that, but six you wouldn't take it at this at protons. this pace. You wouldn't be able to take it at this at this you stage know. at this level. Right, you wouldn't. Right, right. You have to raise your vibration. Then you can take.